Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to share with you guys the craziest, probably the most unique maintenance story you can you would ever see. This person on a Chrysler vehicle. What do people think of Chrysler vehicles when they hear? Usually, it's a bad experience. Transmission. I personally had a bad experience too. So, for me, Chrysler is like yeah, not a reliable brand. And then because I had a used back in ninety in nineties, I had ninety one or ninety two minivan that transmission failed right after one year of ownership. It wasn't brand new. I got used, and you know that was my experience. So this guy said ignored all the nonsense that people believe except as a fact, you know, he said, I'm not following a factory recommended change in the laws. I'm not following what the factory says. It's my car. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to find out what works best for this car. So look at this car. Half a million miles. Yes, that's true. It's a half a million mile Chrysler Pacifica. You will never see another one. And price, he's asking price. It's expensive, you know. However, let's look at the pictures. doesn't look too bad yes this guy no he was not grocery shopping he was using it for business he was delivering something with this van see it's not ripped smart guy put a uh, plywood to prevent damage in the floor carpet very smart we'll give him a credit you know for half a million miles this van looks sharp and right there, the screenshot. 511. Yes. Well, let's look at it more. Let's see what it says. It's a 2017 Pacifica. He purchased brand new and put it for a long haul carrier delivery vehicle as a long haul carrier. So this guy drove 500 miles a night for five days. 2,500 miles, 2.5K miles per week. Two weeks. 5,000 miles a month, 10,000 miles a month. Crazy. That's a lot of drive. So, he's saying, what's wrong with the car, with this van? Fully operational except for AC. AC is not working. Well, at the half a million miles, how many people is going to be complaining about AC is not working? Nah, it's, you know, I'm sure the compressor went out when it's replaced. That's just normal. Tires are still decently, no check engine light, original engine has been, built. original engine, check this out, this guy, original engine, look what he's saying, oil has been changed every 5,000 miles with 0 W20 full synthetic, high mileage oil and new filter. So every two weeks, this guy was changing oil, every two weeks. There is people that against 0 W20, it's too thin, it's watered down, well, if you use it as it's designed, it's not watered down, it's not too thin. This guy got half a million miles using it, original engine. So I contacted this guy through email and I asked him what was his, uh, you know, what brand of oil that he used. He replied to me saying he used whatever is cheap, but he used a uh, laboratory oil analysis to find out that oil is still good at 5,000 miles. And this is what he got. So full synthetic, cheap full synthetic that he was using, no specific brand, whatever was cheap, he was buying it. Can only last like 5,000 miles. Some of you are going to say, well, it can be. Yes. Cheap full synthetic oil, highway mileage in non-direct Injection technology can only last 5,000 miles. This is what I've been saying on my channel for probably years now. If you have a car and using cheap, full synthetic, 5,000 miles max you want to go. Highway run. If you're driving city or you're doing this and that, you know, stop and go, 3,000. Because that oil is only good for that many miles. I've done an oil analysis. This guy done an oil analysis. This is just a confirms what I've been saying for many, many years now. And he's saying, I have every receipt which will I include, which I will include. Then he goes in, 83k miles on the second transmission. So what happened? The transmission failed. Why did it fail? Well, here is what he's saying: transmission oil was replaced at 502, 
that was like uh, trans oil done every 50 k miles with the correct mopper specs. And I will explain to you a little bit later the story why he has a second transmission. Suspension you can read on it. I'm not gonna read that. You can read on my own on your own. There is some chips, which is normal, no rust, minimal social rust. It's expected, you know, half a million miles plus. This is a northeast of US. So what has been replaced on this car? It's always it's always good to know. Some people reach, you know, half a million miles with like three engines, four transmissions, and they claim, man, this is a reliable vehicle. Well, this guy got half a million miles with only two transmission, and this two transmissions, I will explain to you why. Spark plugs, impressive. He only replaced the spark plug once, and it was because it was misdiagnosed. How crazy is this? I don't know if I would push my car for 300k miles or just spark plug, you know. Ah, I don't know, but this guy done it. Seems like it worked for him. Wheel bearings, that's a wear item. That's expected. At 300k miles, yes. Most of the cars, you get about 250. This guy got 385k miles. So this guy got the money worth out of his car. 470k on a factory new alternator was replaced. So he got 470 on an alternator. That's impressive. And not many people get even half of that. So very impressive what he got out of this car. All four wheel shots replaced. At 485. That's expected too. Alternator expected. Wheel be is expected. It's it's wear items that either you change at 200,000 or you change it, you know, about 400k calorie converter, you know, got burned out. So uh, that's expected to. They're not going to last forever. So this is what he wrote about his transmission. He's saying, oh, I forgot about the transmission for it. I asked him about the engine oil and brand that he was using. And like I said, he was using the cheapest he can get, but he was changing every 5,000 miles because, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself because cheap full synthetic oil can only last, doesn't matter what brand, 5k miles highway dri driven in non-direct engine direct engines you have to cut that in half because they dilute oil big time there will be a link in this video where you can actually see uh, the reasons why you want to even avoid those engines in the right top corner if I'm not mistaken so he goes and saying oh, oh forgot about transmission for every 50,000 miles change were done using correct Moper spec oil. So it looks like he was using Moper spec oil. Keep in mind, Moper oil cannot last 50,000 miles. That's the re that's one of the reasons why his transmission failed. I'm going to post the lab results. 20 to 40,000, that's, that's all you want to go. You'll be shocked. When I post those results, you'll be shocked how bad the transmission fluid, not even 50,000. So. I guess the oil is super important with these newer transmissions. Oil was always important. That's why in 90s, early 2000s, car manufacturers always said 30 to 40,000 change your transmission fluid. What has happened since 90s and 2000s? Engines power almost doubled and tripled. Transmissions complexity doubled or tripled. Has the fluid quality has been doubled and tripled from uh, 90s? No. Not much has been done. 5-10% improvement. However, why are they still calling it good for a lifetime? They're brainwashing people. They're lying to people. Trainee is quoted lifetime fluid, but the original one started whining around 125K. So here are the two problems. He went too long on original fluid, 135K, yes. And he realized, I got to do something about it. So he took it to a dealer. Dealer said, we're not changing the fluid. Until the shiny fails, we'll replace the transmission. So that's how dealers are scamming people. I, I went through the same experience. When I bought my car 11, 12 years ago, dealer said, no, we're not changing the fluid. We're going to change those fluids. Even though five years later, the same dealership started to offer the transmission fluid services. Because I said, I'm not waiting 40,000, I'm not waiting 50,000, I changed it to 30,000. Guess what? 11, 12 years later, the car is still running. No transmission problems. So, so he took it to the independent shop and they replaced the fluid. 
you put in the name, I, I'm not showing the name, there is no need. So transmission, shop the name transmission in the, in the area. And he said, you can call them and ask them about Mila Melvin and they will know what you're talking about. So there you go, two problems why his transmission failed early. He was changing the oil every 50,000, 50, should have been every 30 to 40,000. And the first and most important, he went too far, too long on original fluid when he was brand new. Should have been 30, 40,000 max. Otherwise, this transmission would not have ever failed on him. Because dirty fluid wears out transmission. It's like having a sand inside a transmission. When people say, leave it, don't change the fluid, those people are clueless. They, do, they have absolutely zero understanding. These are the people that spread false information that they have no clue or have business even being around on YouTube and commenting that you're not supposed to change your transmission fluid. These are the clueless people out there. Change your fluid. This is a prime example. This guy went above and beyond and said, forget what owner manual says. Owner manual says, do not change the fluid. He went and changed it. And that's what he got. You know how much money he saved? He saved about from 150 to 200,000. Ta yes, 150k he saved at least minimum. He could be one of those people that replaced his van every year, not every year. Yeah, would have been every year for him driving 100,000 miles and keep replacing because you know, trainees was whining, this and that, and, and so on. This guy said no. Factory said changing the engine oil is like what 7,500, 7,000, maybe 10,000. Basement computer says wrong thing to do. If you want your equipment to last, never follow factory recommended change intervals. Never. Especially with the cheap oils that you choose to use. Remember what I said, with the cheap oils, there's an exception to long drain intervals. But that will be covered in another video. I'm going to give you another good example too. Do a quality maintenance, you will get a quality results. Thank you and have an awesome day.